Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Time Cube. Time Cube is a little bit brilliant. Um, so this is your Time Cube Protector. I can tap on the left to, go s to make things go slower and I can tap on the right to make things go faster. So let's tap that to make it go slowly. You might notice that I'm not actually affecting the Time Cube, which is the red thing uh, in the center that's constantly moving forward. What I'm actually doing is moving everything else. I'm moving time around. This is a checkpoint and uh, that means that now I'm at stage one. So if I tap on the right hand side you'll see things move faster and if I tap on the left things are going slower and they can go even slower than that. So you have no actual agency on the thing that you're supposedly controlling, you're just moving everything else which is a really interesting puzzle dynamic. There we are. And you'll find yourself tapping to speed things up when you want to go faster, but of course you can't, right? Like, you can't move any faster. So it feels it feels really Oh, there we go. It feels really odd. Like you wanna you wanna be moving faster, but you can't. You have to make everything else kind of move uh, at a different tempo. And it, even though it gets really hectic, you're never actually moving faster or slower through the space itself. Well, you've really got to... There we go. You've really got to take other things into consideration. Oh my word, that's just made things very difficult for me. Ooh, ah, I got smashed in. So there we are. So, now that I've died... Oh, it's ad-supported, I should say. Challenge my brain? I don't think so. My brain doesn't like a challenge like that. Lots of ads everywhere. Um, but nothing too... There's nothing too intrusive, really. I mean, yeah, there's the huge, you know, image pop-up, but uh, it's nothing that you haven't seen elsewhere. I don't know whether or not there's um, the ability to actually get an ads-free version. That would be quite good if there was. Um, but, like I say, it's not It's not too It's not too intrusive. Let me get rid of that. So now that's spinning a bit too fast. Ah, this is a really difficult stage. So you restart from, a ch from the checkpoint each time. Um, so these levels don't actually change. So you can learn them, um, but it is really, really tricky. It's even trickier to t try and present the game over a video. So uh, uh, I do apologise if it looks like I'm doing badly, because I am doing badly. There we go. We'll move that out of the way a little bit faster and we'll see if we can get through this stage, shall we? There we go. Oh, slow everything down. And you can see it's all very, you know, it's all very glacial. Sort of moving very slowly through it, speeding up and slowing down time. Visually, you know, it's nothing to write home about. I don't think it's, you know, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look particularly appealing either. Really like the audio. Really like this weird. Um, very sort of slightly chilled, but also quite um, detailed and energetic audio. I think that definitely works to its favour. I'm going to speed that. Oh my word! Ah, and there we are. So that is uh, is is exactly what the game is, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. I think it's um, I think it's really really interesting. And uh, it is from a small indie studio. Um, oh, come on! Oh, you see, it's really taxing my brain because I want to be—I want to be in charge of the cube, but I'm not. I'm in charge of everything else. Anyway, uh, that is Time Cube. The game's out right now. There we are. Come on, come on, come on! Let's see if we can get through this stage. Let's see if we can get through this stage. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. If you do decide to pick up the game, do let me know what you think of it in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.